So today I'd like to share with you why most ideas fail. And I can tell you this because I was the role model of failing and unfulfilled ideas. And it was because I am an independent maverick. In fact, I labored for well over a decade under the illusion or delusion, depending on how you look at it, that if I wanted it done right, I did it myself. At the end of the day, I'm the one who gets things done. And all this other story that goes along with, I'm going to get it done come hell or high water because I can't wait on other people or they're not performing as they should or things like that. So the truth of the matter is those of us who follow this philosophy, and like I said, role model of it for a very long time, we get eaten. So the cartoon is true. If you try to do everything by yourself, at the end of the day, you will be swallowed by the enormity of what you're facing alone. So what do I want you all to consider? So what I'd like you to consider is that the best ideas for making your idea happen probably won't come out of your own head. So if you want to get there better, faster, cheaper, more fun, less stress, and all this other stuff, teams can help with that. Now, remember I did say that teams can be a nightmare. But if it's done right, teams can be your dream. So the difference when you try to make an idea happen by yourself versus in a team is basically this. In the idea growth model, team is essential. And it's because you get an exchange of money, idea, resources, energy, support, inspiration, creativity, all these things that keep you going and help you build your base. In the idea stagnation model, if you even look back at the model, you'll notice that it starts in our head and it ends in our head. And if the idea does go anywhere, who's carrying the whole idea? You are. 